Hey, my beautiful shining stars. I hope that you're having a wonderful day, night, whatever it may be. I love you guys so much. It's actually like 10 p.m. in Alaska right now. That's right, I'm in Alaska. And Jacob and I are getting ready to go out to Camp Nashi. Camp Nashi is a native youth camp um, that's put on through This Generation Ministries. And it's a faith-based organization. And we're gonna go and speak life into these young people. And I am so excited. And I thought, well, I'm at it. I've been doing this for about like nine years, like going out camping in the Alaskan bush. So I wanted to show you some of the essentials that I take while I go out camping. So let's get cracking. First off, wipes and lots of them. When you're traveling, you're not always guaranteed a shower. This is when wipes could save your life and keep you sanitary. And speaking about being sanitary, Hand sanitizer, bam, you can pick it up at your local Walmart. <laughs> this stuff, you make sure you use right after you use the bathroom in the great outdoors. If you can't wash your hands, use some of this stuff right here, along with the wipes. It's a great combination. I'm gonna move right into what I use just to keep fresh and clean. Um, deodorant, I happen to use Suave 24 Hour Protection Tropical Paradise deodorant. Mm. Also, I like to take along these little guys. This one's Cotton Candy and their Body Fantasies. Um, little fragrances just to keep a little fresh. Also, um, bug spray is like a big must out there. I could already see the mosquitoes coming out. Um, but I use the Family Care Smooth and Dry, Not Oily or Greasy Powder Formula. And this is really good because it doesn't have that really strong, nasty smell, but it has more of a sweet smell to it. And I like it. I'm sure you girls would like it too. For washing my hair, um, when you're camping, you don't always get a shower, but if you do happen to wash your hair, uh, for me right now, I'm using the Catwalk by T-I-G-I, and this is Fashionisha. It's violet shampoo for blondes and highlight shampoo shampooing violet. Basically, it's a non-sulfate uh, shampoo that has violet in it, and it helps me keep my purple nice and vibrant and I have the conditioner along with that and if you don't have access to a shower I recommend Tony and Guy's cleanse dry shampoo this is a lifesaver I'm using it anyway before I even start camping because I can't wash my hair every day with my um, hair dye in it so this stuff comes in muy handy also I got macadamia um, leave-in conditioner just to keep my ends nice and smooth and Suave's Creamy Tropical Coconut Wash for Mavate. Being that I spent about nine years in the Alaska bush every summer, um, I've learned that showers come in quite handy. And to accomplish this, Jacob got me a portable shower. So this is gonna keep the mosquitoes off. This one's we got at Sportsman's Warehouse. And this is the text for Authentic adventure gear, Hilo Cut 2 Privacy Shelter. So this is where I'll be taking my showers to protect me from the bugs. And to go along with it, I have the Stearns Marine Accessories Sun Shower for Portable Shower. So this is what I'm gonna be hooking up inside of that little tent thingy that I have there. So, so nice. Also, I like to take a little makeup bag with me. I know some people like to go all natural while roughing it in the woods, but for me, I'm kind of crazy. So I just have some BB cream from NYX. Mm -hmm. And um, just a voluminous mascara from L'Oreal. Um, just a couple of makeup brushes. Also, the NYX is adorable, or the natural palette is a good go-to palette for just a nice natural look. Well, campy. NYX's Glide On Slide On Liner. Some tweezers from Revlon. NYX's Blush in Bordeaux. Makeup Removal Wipes to clean your face. And Noya's Natural Vanilla Lip Balm so my lips won't hurt real bad. And I also like to brush a brush a brush uh, with these cute little bags that come with the toothbrush, a little toothpaste, and tooth cap to keep it um, nice and clean. And great for on the go Dentec Floss. Oh yeah. So that's all for the hygiene and toiletry segment. I also like having a camp mirror. And this one, it has a little thing on the back so you could um, like stand it up or you could hang it on a tree. And being in the great outdoors, you're also gonna wanna stay hydrated. And you could do that with some high quality H2O in a water bottle. Um, carabiners 
actually come in handy. They're a little clasp thing so you could clasp it on your backpack or to your belt buckle or whatever. Mmm, what a Coglin's Cut the Tree Set. Basically, it's a little um, loop that has a spoon, fork, and knife, and that's nifty if you're on the go and you want to make yourself a cup of noodle or something like that, and bam, you have it. Enjoy the noodle <laughs> with this stuff. And for snacks, if you didn't know, I'm a huge fan of snacking. I got good old fashioned goldfishies. I could eat them every day. And my mama says it's okay. I love the fishies because they're so delicious. Got goldfishies. Some Jack Link's Jack Pack with cheese, pretzels, and beef. Oh yeah, baby. These next snacks that I'm gonna show you, I am pretty much addicted to. Um, I could down a whole bag in a matter of seconds. Oh, the Snappy Crisp Harvest Snaps Flavored Green Pea Baked Peas Caesar flavor. These things are delicious. That's all I gotta say about that. Another thing about me, I need help on the fiber end of things. So I got fiber 190 calorie brownies just to give me some good fiber. I also like to carry around a multi-spice pack, just with some garlic, black pepper, salt, paprika, curry, and garlic salt. I like garlic, just to keep things flavorful. A couple other things that come in handy, get it? Handy are some work gloves, just in case you need to move some branches. Mini broom and dustpan to clean your tent out. Beanies, bandanas, and hats. Now this is the land of the midnight sun, but it does get dark-ish in your tent, so it's always good to have a lantern while camping. Ooh, I got this one from Fred Myers, and it is, doesn't have any logo on it. Another amazing thing to have while camping is ugh, a dry bag. These things are amazing. This one comes with a little backpack um, straps on it so you can carry it easy. This is from Seal Line, and basically this will protect your clothes from getting wet. Like if it's raining or if it falls in a puddle or whatever, your clothes won't be drenched. And since we travel on boats, <laughs> there's a high probability of our stuff getting wet. Believe me, I've learned the hard way with having a bunch of wet clothes when I got to camp. Another thing you guys might want to have out there is a tent and an air mattress and a sleeping bag. Also, for you couples out there, you might want to get yourself a heavy duty mm, mammoth sleeping bag that sleeps not one, but two people. Well, hello, Jacob. Well, hello, Karis. <laughs> Um, so there's a high probability that we're not going to have internet out there. So if you don't hear from us from two, for about two weeks, you guys know what we're doing. But honestly, I feel so blessed. Like this is going to be the highlight of our summer. I just know it. I am so excited to be able to go out there and do it. And uh, to find out more, you could go to tgmalaska.com. If you guys want to donate or just send out your prayers to us, we would appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we, we definitely appreciate your guys' thoughts and prayers while we're gone. And uh, although we might not be able to communicate via Instagram or YouTube or whatever it is, uh, we definitely are going to be vlogging and bringing our camera along with us so that when we get back, we can show you guys uh, how it went down and, and just how awesome the time was out there. And you could check that out on our second channel, Charisma Life TV, here on YouTube. And that's about it. We love you guys, and we hope that you have a wonderful day. Mwah. Mwah.